Welcome to Infigyan friends. Today in this video we have one very very interesting question from algebra which we'll be solving for real values of x. Now we'll begin this video by factoring denominators. We will factorize our denominators. So I can see here this is 21 which is 7 times 3 and if I will add 7 and 3 we are going to get middle term coefficient 10. Similarly here if I will factorize 77 I can write here 7 times 11 and once I will add both I will get 18. Similarly 165 is 15 times 11 and if I will add both I am going to get 26. So easily we can factor our denominators and write x minus 3 times x minus 7 plus 1 over x minus 7 times x minus 11 plus 1 over x minus 11 times x minus 15 equal to 3 over 13. Now we can write x cannot be 3, 7, 11 and 15. Now we are going to write 1 over x minus 3 times x minus 7. This will be using partial fraction. We will write a over x minus 3 plus b over x minus 7. Now we will simplify RHS and write 1 equal to a times x minus 7 plus b times x minus 3 or we can write ax plus bx minus 7a minus 3b in the RHS. So I can write 1 equal to ax plus bx minus 7a minus 3b. Now we will take x common from the right hand side and we can write a plus b times x plus minus 7a minus 3b equal to 1. Now we are going to compare coefficients both sides. So in LHS we do not have x term so we will write 0x. Now we can compare 0 with a plus b and 1 with constant minus 7a minus 3b. So we will get two equations. Let me write here a plus b equal to 0 and second equation will be 7a plus 3b equal to minus 1. Now we will multiply a plus b equal to 0 equation by 7. So I can write 7a plus 7b equal to 0. Now we will write our equation here 7a plus 3b equal to minus 1. Now we are going to subtract second equation from first one. So we will get 4b equal to 1. So from here we can get b value b equal to 1 over 4. Now Using a plus b equal to 0 equation, we will get a value because a would be minus b. So we can write minus 1 over 4. So we will write here a equal to minus 1 over 4. Let us put both the values. We will write our first term 1 over x minus 3 times x minus 7. This was a over x minus 3 plus b over x minus 7. Value will be equal to a was 1 over 4. So I can write here 1 over 4 with negative sign minus 1 over 4 over x minus 3 plus 1 over 4 x minus 7. So 1 over 4 is common out. We will get in the bracket 1 over x minus 7 
minus 1 over x minus 3. This is our final conclusion. Now on a similar way, we will get 1 over x minus 7 times x minus 11. This will be equal to 1 over 4. In the bracket we will write 1 over x minus 11 minus 1 over x minus 7. Similarly, the last term which we will write x minus 11 times x minus 15 will be equal to 1 over 4. 1 over x minus 15 minus 1 over x minus 11. Now we have to add these three equations. These three equations we are going to add. So we are going to cancel few terms. This term will be cancelled out with this 1 over x minus 7 with minus 1 over x minus 7. So we are going to get the LHS would be 3 over 13, RHS would be 1 over 4. In the bracket, we will write 1 over x minus 15 minus 1 over x minus 3. This is our simplified equation. Let me write here 1 over x minus 15 minus 1 over x minus 3 with multiplier 1 over 4 RHS is equal to 3 over 13. Now we will simplify, we will take LCM here. So x minus 3 times x minus 15 with multiplier 1 over 4. Here we will write x minus 3 minus x plus 15. And RHS is 3 over 13. Now plus x minus x will be over 15 minus 3 is 12. So we will write 12 over 4 times x minus 3 times x minus 15 equal to 3 over 13. Now 12 over 4 is 3. Now we will divide both sides by 3. We are going to get 1 here one here also. So I can write 1 over x minus 3 times x minus 15 equal to 1 over 13. Now x cannot be 3, x cannot be 15. I will take reciprocal both sides. Switching of numerator and denominator. So we will get x minus 3 times x minus 15 equal to 30. Now this is one quadratic equation which we will solve for the real values of x. I will write x minus 3 times x minus 15 equal to 13. We will get x square minus 15x minus 3x minus 18x minus 3 times minus 15 plus 45 equal to 13. Now we will take 13 to the LHS. We will get x square minus 18x 45 minus 13. Value will be 32. Now this is one quadratic equation. We can use here factorization method once again. As we can see the factors of 32 as 16 times 2. And if I will add both. I will get 18. So I can write x square minus 2x minus 16x plus 32 equal to 0. Now from first two terms we can take x common. So in the bracket x minus 2 we have to write. Then from next two terms we can take minus 16 common. We will get x minus 2 in the bracket equal to 0. Our factorization is over. We are getting x minus 2 times x minus 16 equal to 0. So from here we will use product 0 rule and we can write x would be 2, x would be 16. So we have two real solutions. Now we are going to check 
let me write here check we will begin with x equal to 2 whether it will satisfy our equation or not so equation is written here we will begin with LHS x equal to 2 okay 1 over 2 square is 4 10 times 2 is 20 so we will put minus 20 then we have plus 21 plus 1 over 4 minus 36 plus 77 plus 1 over 4 minus 52 plus 165 this is our LHS so far. Now we will simplify. We will get 4 plus 21 is 25 minus 20. So 1 over 5 plus. Here we will get 1 over 45. Here we will get 1 over 117. Now if I will add these two. I need to multiply here with 9. So in the numerator. Now denominator is 45. 9 plus 1 is 10. So I can write 10 over 45 plus 1 over 117 will be equal to, if I will simplify, then I can write 2 over 9 plus 1 over 117. Now we have to multiply here with 13. So in the numerator, we will multiply with 13. 2 times 13 is 26 plus 1, 27 over 9 times 13 is common denominator 117. Now we can cancel both the numbers by 9. We will get 3 over 13. Which is our RHS. LHS equal to RHS. Our solution is true. Now we will check x equal to 16. Okay. So we will put x equal to 16 in our LHS. 1 over x square, so 16 square, 256, minus 10 times 16, minus 160, plus 21, plus 1 over 256, minus 288, plus 77, plus 1 over 256, minus 416, plus 165. So from first term we are going to get 1 over 117. Here we will be getting 1 over 45. And from third term we will get 1 over 5. Which is same as this expression I would say. So I can write directly value will come out 3 over 13. Our LHS equal to our RHS. Hence, x equal to 16 is also true solution. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe. Bye-bye till next video. Good luck. Take care. Bye-bye.